good morning students uh, welcome to my class uh, this today's class is uh, also a state of matter uh, this is the second part I have already taken state of matter about uh, three states solid liquid gas and their interconversion melting uh, interconversion process like melting condensing boiling sublimation this process i have discussed last class today i'll discuss this working out physical state of a substance physical state of a substance at particular temperature today we'll learn how to we can uh, find out physical state of a substance at a particular temperature you know this uh, there is the three physical state of a substance solid liquid or gases we'll find out uh, at a particular temperature what will be the state of a substance uh, look that uh, temperature range like temperature range minus 2273 degrees celsius here temperature range 200 degree minus 200 degrees celsius and this is the uh, minus 150 degrees celsius minus uh, 100 degrees celsius minus 50 degrees celsius 0 degrees celsius uh, 50 degree plus now plus it is increasing now uh, plus 50 degree plus 100 degrees celsius 150 degrees celsius 200 degree celsius uh, and uh, 250 degrees celsius and 350 degrees celsius 400 degrees celsius i like a substance uh, melting point oxygen oxygen melting point is a minus 20 this is here it may be minus um, minus 250 like now 220 like here minus 280 uh, like minus 222 okay this temperature okay this is the lithium melting point lithium melting point mm, okay like this bromine 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 melting point and bo bromine bo boiling point this the after the boiling point after a boiling point this substance is like uh, this is the l uh, bromine bromine after the boiling point like this is a here the in this temperature like it is maybe 55 uh, 55 like uh, like 60 degree temperature after this boiling point it become gas so in a 100 degrees celsius bromine is gas and in the melting point here before melting point it is a solid when the melting point uh, melt it is liquid so it's liquid here after melting to before boiling it is uh, liquid so bromine in this range is bromine liquid after melting point before boiling it is liquid then after boiling point these are gas uh, before multi melting point bromine is solid okay here oxygen oxygen boiling point after boiling point like here this you have not given like it is minus uh, minus 180 like minus 180 r uh, and this is minus uh, like 250 so uh, between the 200 degree melting point like minus 200 degrees uh, melting point after melting point before boiling point it is a melting point gas no liquid here and boiling point like minus 150 degree it's gas so minus 100 degrees Celsius it is gas minus 150 and also room temperature like 25 degrees Celsius at room temperature oxygen gas is oxygen is gas also when minus 200 like minus 2 uh, 20 minus 220 like uh, oxygen is melting before melting point like minus 270 uh, degrees Celsius oxygen will be solid oxygen have you seen solid we see so far oxygen is gas because room temperature uh, it is okay mm, so here is the information a substance is solid at room temperature below is melting point 
below at room temperature below is melting point a substance is solid below is melting point substance is solid between is melting point and boiling point it is a liquid above is a boiling point it is a gas and uh, roughly have you any question So why are you raising hand? Okay, next. Okay, activity. Activity one. Uh, the question refers to the substance in the table. Uh, this is the substance A, A, B, C, D. Three, five substances are given. Uh, a substance melting point is melting point is minus two fifty nine. And boiling point is uh, boiling point is uh, minus two fifty three. B substance uh, melting point zero. Bo boiling point hundred degrees Celsius. C substance sublimes. It uh, directly turn solid to gas. At uh, at three uh, three thousand seven degree uh, three thousand seven three. Thousand seven hundred degrees Celsius, it becomes uh, sublime gas becomes directly solid to gas become at which temperature at uh, three thousand uh, seven hundred degrees Celsius, it become gas. Uh, before this, uh, temperature, this temperature and before this temperature, it is solid. Okay, the, the melting point is this substance is melting point is 100 minus 100 degrees uh, minus 116 and boiling point is 34.5 and E substance uh, melting point uh, 801 and boiling point 1413. Okay, write down the physical state of each compound at 30 degrees Celsius. The 30 degrees Celsius each uh, substance what is the physical state? Okay, now we will check uh, substance A. A substance, what will be? At yes. A substance will be? Yes. Gas, because it become gas minus 253. Here is a ma above, it is 30. It is above minus 253. Hmm, cross, so it is gas. And B substance? B substance temp uh, it is this range is 30 30 degrees Celsius it is between melting point and boiling point so what will be liquid, liquid. if you see the uh, this p range this temperature is range between melting and boiling point you say uh, liquid or uh, after boiling point if you if you see the after boiling point uh, there will be uh, gas uh, before melting point it will be solid okay now C substance C substance it uh, solid and uh, it become gas directly gas at 3700 degrees Celsius now at 30 degrees Celsius what is the C substance yes. eh. it's solid Actually, <laughs> it is solid. It will be gas uh, when temperature will be uh, more than three thousand three thousand seven hundred degrees Celsius. It will be sublime that temperature. Now this is three thirty degrees Celsius. Only thirty degrees Celsius. It is. It is, it is uh, solid. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now D substance. Uh, D substance, D substance is a solid or liquid D substance? D substance? Uh, liquid, sir. Liquid, because it is this 30 degrees between melting and boiling points. Boiling. Okay. Uh, now uh, this substance uh, yeah. gas 
<laughs> above above this 30 degrees above uh, boiling point this the boiling point is 14 uh, hundred thirteen degrees Celsius it is above boiling point it is gas who said this is it is not gas it is not gas it is now 30 degrees Celsius temperature it will be when gas when I this is e substance will be gas when temperature is 14 uh, uh, greater than 1413 degree temperature 1413 degree Celsius is not a gas 30 degree is a gas it is even not between melting point and boiling point it is not also liquid it is solid yes this is solid so have you understood ok this way uh, now this one number 2 number 2 is uh, minus 100 degree celsius so what will be this one this substance uh, it is minus uh, 100 degree celsius it is uh, after boiling point this temperature energy is minus 100 degree celsius here uh, minus uh, 253 minus 252 minus 251 minus 2 like minus 100 this is after boiling point so a substance will be at uh, 100 degree minus 100 degrees yeah. gas okay now b substance b substance what will be this temperature range is uh, after solid. 100 solid yes not after 100 not uh, between uh, it will be below 0 below 0 so it is below before 0 so it is minus 100 degrees before 0 so solid uh, what is that this one see Same solid. solid and D D, what will be D? Solid. D, 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 uh, 116 and 34.5 it is between melting and boiling point how have you understood it is between between uh, 116 and 34.5 it is between this range minus 100 hello student have you understood it is between melting point and boiling point so it is liquid it is liquid hello uh, minus yes, uh, have you understood okay okay yes. now now question number e e at minus 10 deg 100 degrees Celsius what will be e solid solid good now your task you will solve uh, question number 3 and submit to my whatsapp number within 5 minutes ok uh, this is now class work solve quickly uh, uh, question number 3 at 80 degrees celsius what will be a substance solid liquid gas b substance solid liquid gas c substance solid liquid gas this ok ok this is your class work submit this one is it what is this? Okay, at uh, at uh, eighty degrees Celsius, air substance is gas. 
because it is after boiling point minus 253 gas okay this one is correct and B substance is uh, B substance is uh, liquid yes uh, because it is between uh, melting point uh, 0 and boiling point 100 80 and C substance uh, it's sublime at it is solid at 80 degrees Celsius it will become uh, sublime gas at 3700 degrees Celsius. So it is gas, solid. Why didn't you write solid? Okay. Uh, uh, D substance is, D substance is gas. It is correct because it is the after boiling point. 80 degrees Celsius is, uh, its boiling point is given 34.5. So in 80 degrees Celsius it will be gas. So it's correct. And uh, so E substance is solid. E substance is solid. Uh, uh, solid because it is b um, its melting point is uh, 801 so at 80 degrees Celsius it will be solid so gas liquid solid gas solid okay uh, air uh, question number three will be solid who have submitted this one we have submitted good RK submit kolo you know this answer is skipped here you know I have given maybe you uh, where's the my answer skip this book eh? uh, <coughs> I have this correct. Uh, I said uh, question number uh, 3 a solid. I submit other students. Where are they are sleeping? I, I think is it? Where is this problem? Uh, question number three uh, A. A C is solid. Yes, yeah, C is solid. My answer is C so is solid. Have you seen uh, uh, Rafi? C answer is. Solid A gas B liquid C solid D gas E uh, solid. Uh, okay, the uh, other student have given this one. Who is this? Arya Bashir. Arya, taken a screenshot for attendance. I am checking your answers. Skip. Okay, sir. You are now captain. Your uh, captain wears A gas, B liquid, C solid, and D gas, C solid. Yes, excellent. All are correct. Excellent. Um, excellent. I just want to make for a day in the class work, the homework, the talk on answer skip the Q. I mean, to the kind of money to my proof to the kind of. Uh, excellent. Uh, eh? Sami ki dosi lo na ki amare. Koi sami gilo. Submit kore hi chale gilo. Mane mano bool dekse na ni. Dekse ho gurta ita jise correct. Ita dekse lo bool abar katiya di bo. Dek bai ne. Ekon ki pay bai. Jekon ek term mude abar rating paawa jabe abar submit kore shi na. Okay, now we should go to class main class. Okay, less than five minutes is remaining. If class finish, you will join to the same link again. Five minutes remaining. Uh, Arya, have you taken a screenshot? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now I am going to main class again from current slide. Uh,
okay activity one finish now diffusion uh, what is do you mean diffusion uh, diffusion if you take <coughs> a scent uh, if you use scent or perfume uh, uh, in your cloth it will be uh, spread the scent sweet uh, smell throughout the room how this is possible because uh, a particles uh, uh, a spread throughout the uh, from higher concentration area to lower concentration area a particle a spreading and this process is called uh, diffusion the a spreading out of particle in gas or liquid is known as diffusion so particle uh, where particle move like particles higher concentration of particles to uh, lower concentration particles move if you take a, uh, this process the spreading out of particle in in a gas or liquid is known as diffusion diffusion also occur liquid and gas uh, i didn't use my like a boy a good boy uh, uh want to go to uh, school this boy <coughs> want to go to school and he use perfume perfume he use perfume yellow color perfume na color ye perfume color ki okay say he has some perfume this color okay perfume uh, his it uh, it has perfume using after some time a baby was sleeping here it found uh, a smell because this particle moved throughout the this perfume particle moved throughout the rooms uniformly throughout spontaneously and is uniformly equally uniformly means equally all particles so it find uh, this kit find the smells of sweet uh, perfume because particle automatically spontaneously spreading uh, this process is called throughout the room even outside uh, so this is this process is called uh diffusion diffusion occur in uh, liquid and gas oh uh, the particle move from higher concentration of part uh, higher concentration region to lower concentration region region like when you take a glass lid uh, like here is a bromine water bromine water bromine water contain bromine gas bromine rises uh, this is the two uh, jar uh, one jar is a here two jar uh, here is another jar here is a lid there is a lid between two jar when you lid open this uh, bromine color uh, gas uh, bromine uh, color it uh, move throughout the gas uh, part uh, throughout uh, another jars also and this is uh, it is not re written properly i am showing uh, less than 1 minute remaining you join to the same link again Okay, when the glass lid is removed, bromine rises up to the top, and bromine is made of small particle which occupies space inside the both jars by diffusion. Okay, when the 
lid is removed when this lid is removed hey, this lid is removed the uh, this is a bromine uh, this contain uh, color is uh, brown color uh, not red color is it it is brown bromine color red though it is not like red just, uh, when the it was uh, closed by lid uh, there is a two jar uh, here is there is a between two jar there is a lid and when this lid is removed this bromine uh, is uh, bromine rise up to the top uh, jar and made the particle which uh, all particles occupy this particle so both particles contain uh, gas particles so it is due to diffusion now showing that particle of different gas travel at different speed we will see all particles all gases particles have uh, different gases particles have different speed we will see now all particle speed all gas particle speed are not same different uh, gases particle have different speed okay you took these two gases ammonia gas and hcl gas two gases ammonia gas and hcl gases okay uh, from the you will take a cotton cotton wool uh, cotton wool uh, cotton wool uh, <coughs> is soaked is soaked in aqueous ammonia uh, deep in a aqueous ammonia with cotton wool and ammonia gas is produced here in a cotton wool take uh, ammonia uh, so here ammonia gas is produced and from the cotton wool which is soaked in hydrochloric acid here hydrochloric acid uh, here uh, hydrochloric acid uh, here hydrogen chloride gas this is a hydrochloric uh, gas is produced here hydrogen chloride gas is produced in the right and both gases move to each other inside the glass this gas move here to this uh, uh, side uh, from left to right and uh, hydrogen gas hydrogen chloride gas is from from uh, right to left here these things okay both uh, gases move to each other inside the glass and meet near cotton wool which is soaked in hydrochloric acid okay it they meet here here meet and form ammonium chloride ammonium chloride so where meet near the uh, hydro hydrogen chloride gas they meet here this the distance is air low higher distance is move more so here they form uh, two gas uh, ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas meet form a solid gas ammonium chloride solid form I, it is color is white smoke ammonium chloride this show that uh, ammonia gas move faster than hydrogen chloride gas in the same length same length of time so this gas move faster it move here huh? then hi uh, hydrogen chloride gas move something and so which gas move faster ammonia gas move faster this show the ammonia gas move faster than hydrogen chloride gas in the same length of time because ammonia is lighter than hydrogen chloride gas so ammonia diffuse faster uh, the factor that effect of diffusion process are molecular mass and temperature molecular mass and temperature the molecules with low molecular mass faster than higher molecular masses increase in temperature increase diffusion rate so have you understood uh, do you know what is molecular mass uh, ammonia mass ammonia and hydrogen chloride which has uh, uh, it is uh, inverse proportional molecular mass what is ammonia molecular mass ammonia uh, hydrogen chloride hydrogen 
chlor uh, chloride gas what is the mass this one nitrogen 14 hydrogen 3 each hydrogen 1 into 3 that means 17 okay mass uh, and what is hydrogen chloride gas hydrogen is 1 and chlorine relative atomic mass is 35.5 so it is 36.5 so uh, ammonia gas is mr relative molecular mass of <coughs> ammonia gas is smaller so it uh, move faster it is a bigger mass so move slower ah uh, student are you listening me are you watching my screen yes sir yes sir okay you are not talking i think uh, So have you understood this thing uh, showing that uh, particle of different gases travel at different speed. So uh, which gas is more speed ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas and why which gas moves ammonia why why because it has a lower mass lower masses molecular masses good excellent uh, now diffusion in liquid we we'll see diffusion in liquid uh, diffusion through a liquid is very slow and then gas diffusion through a liquid is very slow if the liquid is uh, uh, completely still for example if uh, a small ja uh, small jar is strongly colored solution such as potassium permanganate color this the purple color is placed in in a gas jar of water it take a day days for color to diffuse throughout all the water this is because the particle in a liquid move more slowly than the particle in a gas the particle in a liquid are also much closer together than those in a gas and uh, there is less space of particle to move into into the without colliding with another one so it is not required to dare gas jar to okay now uh, something remaining not class is not finished uh, I am taking another topics Uh, can I student take class uh, continue uh, because I want to finish class this chapter next class if I don't take okay uh, I can carry this class uh, mm, the dilution of colored solution it, it uh, try to it is uh, uh, some things difficult topics dilution do you know dilution uh, what do you mean dilution uh, ok imagine you dissolve uh, 0 0.01 gram potassium permanganate 6 in 1 cubic centimeter of water to make deep purple solution this is that a couple of purple solution imagine ki imagine you uh, imagine imagine you take how much purple solution mm. imagine point zero uh, one gram potassium permanganate in 1 cubic centimeter of water to make deep purple solution 1 cubic centimeter of water the purple purple color it key this purple color this purple color so you want to you take 
0.01 gram potassium permanganate 0.1 gram and how much water water is 1 cubic centimeter water just if we take the volume of one drop is uh, if you take uh, the volume of one drop is 0 0.01 0 0.05 cubic centimeter we can uh, work out there 20 drops in one cubic centimeter okay so because uh, one cubic how in uh, 0 0.5 uh, how one drop contain 0 0.05 cubic centimeter so uh, two become one cubic centimeter need 20 drops each drop will contain how much gram if uh, one cubic centimeter coin 0 0 0.05 so uh, 0 0.05 cubic centimeter contain 0 0.005 of potassium permanganate if you dilute this solution by adding water until total volume is uh, thousand cubic centimeter you should still just be able to see the purple color there are now uh, 200,000 drops in the solution in order to see the color so you need to see if you want to see color you need how much drops 200 drops 200,000 drops in the solution is needed in order to see color each drop must contain at least one purple of potassium permanganate so there must be at least how much particles uh, this particles uh, 200,000 uh, particle in 0 0.01 gram potassium permanganate this means each particle can't weigh more than uh, 50 billion of a gram uh, this answer is not even close to real answer a potassium permanganate particle actually weigh 0 0.000000000026.0 and there are about yeah, at the particles and in way is 0 0.01 gram in reality you need very large number of particles in each drop in order to see the color <laughs> have you understood now i think you don't understand this thing okay i'll explain later in this regard okay i i'll t take preparation about this then i'll explain you Okay, now solubility of solid. Solubility of solid uh, of solid topics. Solubility of solid. <coughs> okay, do you know the uh, hello student? Are you listening me? okay uh, uh, like you take uh, 5 gram sugar uh, 5 gram uh, in a 5 gram sugar 5 gram sugar okay you add in a 100 gram you add here is a water solution and you add this sugar 5 gram sugar and this uh, sugar is stirring is stirring and clear solution is found clear solution is found and uh, so here water uh, here two things one things is dissolves another things which substance dissolves here uh, Student, today is my <laughs> working, you know, here some 
I want to close class here. There's task in our house. Uh, labor come to do something. Oh, wiring. Okay, and now I to I I want to finish today's class. Huh? Okay. I'll take class later. I'll give you. Uh, Hello, student. Are listening me?